guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all new top of the line 2023 Nissan Rogue Platinum. And a huge thanks to Red at Courtesy Nissan in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. I'll leave a link to our inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Red. And as most of you guys probably know by now, the Rogue has been Nissan's compact crossover SUV since 2008. It's been Nissan's best seller in the United States since then. The third generation Rogue that you see here was released in 2021, sitting on the all new Alliance platform shared with the Mitsubishi Outlander, which was revised for 2022. The 2022 Rogue actually got a powertrain update, replacing the 2.5 liter inline four cylinder, which cranked out 181 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque, with the all new 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder, which cranks out 201 horsepower and 225 pound feet of torque enough to get the rogue to 60 and over a second quicker of a time the 2023 rogue is available in five different trim levels all five trim levels come standard with front wheel drive you can upgrade about thirteen hundred dollars to all wheel drive starting with the s trim level that we already reviewed on this channel at twenty seven thousand three hundred and sixty dollars coming standard with safety shield 360 17 inch alloy wheels an eight inch touchscreen too with apple carplay and android auto you can upgrade to the sv which we also already reviewed on this channel with a base price of thirty thousand $30,550. Now we get Pro Pilot Assist, and Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist is really advanced for the radar cruise control. Not only does it have stop and go, which reads the car in front of you when it's braking, it also reads the car in front of the car in front of you for more reliable and more consistent of a brake assist. We also get 18 inch alloy rims, remote start, and dual zone automatic climate control. The Midnight Edition sits right in the middle of the Rogue pack at $33,245. Now we get 18 inch black alloy wheels, a black V-Motion grille, black badging, and leatherette seats. The SL is the more luxurious Rogue trim with 19 inch alloy wheels, a 360 degree camera, panoramic moonroof, three zone automatic climate control and leather seats. The Platinum is the top of the line Rogue that you see here with a base price of $37,140. Now we get Pro Pilot Assist, Nissan's advanced Pro Pilot Assist with navigation link. Navigation 2 comes standard on the Platinum trim, of course. Quilted full leather seats, a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Again, with a base price of $37,140. What else we get for that money? Let's jump right in so i apologize for the wind and potential rain again the tropical storm is coming really shortly so trying to get as many reviews out of the way as possible but again full leds for the high and low beam led daytime running strip functional airflow in both corners up front really clean look updated nissan badge black for the grill area shiny chrome for the surrounds for the v motion if you want the v motion to be blacked out of course go with the midnight edition we have full front parking sensing 360 degree camera we're missing a little tow hook cap but of course that will be added before the vehicle is sold very clean overall front styling a little bit of shiny chrome down below if you don't like the shiny chrome of course you can black it out with the midnight edition as we mentioned the paint color is really clean looking gray metallic you're not gonna be able to pick up the metallic because of how cloudy it is today i'll leave a link right here to show you exactly the name of this paint color but definitely one of the nicer ones for the 2023 rogue the wheel and tire setup again this is the top of the line platinum trim we get a side sensor which helps with the 360 side camera which also helps with the 360 some plastic cladding so if you take this all-wheel drive suv off-road it'll be protected from rock chips but the wheel and tire setup as you mentioned we get this gunmetal gray and silver contrasted 19 inch rims wrapped in two 3555 r19 bridgestone alenza all-season tires some of the best all seasons in the business both when it comes to grip and ride quality especially with this 55 series sidewall Continuing along, we get more plastic cladding for the rocker panel side skirt area with a little shiny chrome above. We mentioned the camera on the mirror, LED turn signal on the mirror too. Two-tone contrast with the body color and black. The glass fills up the entire frame. Blind spot monitor on the glass. Bottom of the window trims all blacked out. A little bit of shiny chrome up top. Blacked out B-pillar and C-pillar. We get a roof rail up top too. It looks like it's just an, an aluminum trim shark fin style antenna we get smart access for all four doors it's also a premium touch same rear wheel and tire setup bridgestone lens and tires only difference is a smaller brake caliper we get the updated nissan badge for the center cap side sensor out rear two full rear parking sensing led taillights turn signal is halogen reverse light is led updated nissan badge out rear two rogue badge i kind of wish it was more smoked like a smoke silver similar design to the outside portion of the nissan badge but very nitpicky complaint shout out courtesy nissan in tampa florida for making this be possible we're missing a tow hitch out rear as well so maybe it's just something that has to come equipped from the pdi platinum all-wheel drive badge in the corner we'll take a squat back here get a quick look at the exhaust tip in the left corner hopefully you can pick up the suspension setup as well but speaking of the exhaust tip 
let's fire up this 1.5 liter turbo three cylinder the rain's starting to pick up and hear how she sounds All right, guys, that was the sound of the 1.5 liter turbo three cylinder sold by Nissan for the 2023 Rogue Platinum, cranking out 201 horsepower, 225 pound feet of torque. You can expect zero to 60 around seven to seven and a half seconds with this all wheel drive. If you launch the absolute crap out of it, you may be able to get zero to 60 in under seven seconds. But what you see is basically what we get pretty good performance, way better than the 2021 original third generation Rogue. Reliability may be a long term question, but if you're an initial owner for the first hundred thousand miles you shouldn't have any issues at all and we'll see how the reliability is after a few years but right now it's just too early to tell but again what you see is basically what we get no hydraulic struts not even for the platinum trim unfortunately i'm using my arm as the prop rock because it's not too hot of a day today we can shut this thing right up we'll take a walk to the side check out the window sticker real quick it's gonna be tough to see because we get some dark tints which i'm not complaining about but because of the dark tints the window sticker is gonna be pretty tough to pick up but hopefully you can pause take a look at all the standard features on a 2023 rogue platinum all-wheel drive with all-wheel drive the base price is 38,640. we get the premium paint color for 395 dollars the paint is boulder gray metallic with a charcoal interior we also pay 425 dollars for the floor mats cargo area protector seat back protector in the first aid kit 195 for the retractable cargo cover 620 for the platinum premium package which is a pretty good value considering we get heads up display tri-zone auto climate control and heated rear seats interesting that the tri-zone auto climate does not come standard after a $1,300 destination charge total price sitting at $41,570 getting a little bit pricey for a compact crossover SUV but considering this thing has absolutely everything you possibly want or need best in class performance in my opinion I think it's quicker than a CRV I think it's quicker than a RAV4 it's definitely quicker than a base um, CX-5 without the turbo of course CX-5 turbo will blow the doors off this thing but a non-turbo this thing should win in a race but we can take a step out to the other side check out the interior of the 2023 top of the line rogue you might be wondering what are we currently standing on? i thought this was a an old parking lot but i just noticed there's some tiles on the ground so i think we're sitting on somebody's old slab for their old house pretty interesting but we get a driveway here and everything air traffic control and an airport pretty good location for an old house but anyway taking a step inside we can really check out this interior so up top just like all the rogues we reviewed in this channel we get this brown material up top it's soft touch good area to rest your arm especially if your arm is out the window gushy soft leather for the middle portion high quality aluminum door handle with aluminum surrounding these memory seats beneath we have some faux wood trim auto one touch for the driver power windows for the other passengers four-way adjustable mirrors too they're not power folding unfortunately decent little storage cubby gushy soft for the armrest and the padding continues all the way out here for your knee will often hit down below hard plastic to be expected but we get good storage you'll fit a couple foot longs you should fit a big gulp in there with no problem it's not labeled what type of audio system this is but it sounds really good a ton of bass very premium sound system the seats are also very beautiful quilted leather seats perforated heated not ventilated solid bolstering though the bottom portion is also pretty well bolstered there's zero gravity seats nissan zero gravity seats are some of the best in the business too because they give you a little bit of extra lumbar support down low so for long trips like me personally i get back pain for long trips and with these zero gravity seats it's just simply not the case down below we have lumbar control you can recline drop lift and slide the seats no nameplate stepping inside but we do get that plastic kick protector but taking a step inside we can really check it out so firing everything right to life engine start stop right down below and everything fires right to life so the first thing we notice is that 12.3 inch digital gauge display we'll get into it in one second the steering wheel very thick i'm really liking this new rogue steering wheel i wish we had a little bit fatter 10 and 2 bolstering notch but pretty nitpicky complaint the 9 and 3 fits well in your hand we get a flat bottom updated nissan badge rubberized horn area the horn not the most aggressive but people should definitely be getting out of your way we'll turn this air control down by a couple so you guys can hear a little bit better we get paddle shifters for the cvt transmission for the ratios for the cvt transmission it's an eight speed line driven cvt on the left side for the steering wheel controls volume and skip this is just your infotainment cluster on the right side we have a cruise control settings radar cruise with adaptive cruise control and again not only does it read the car in front of you for the brake assist it also reads the car in front of the car in front of you for more consistent more reliable 
breaking voice commands, you can hang up and answer your phone calls, and your radar crews, as we mentioned. The infotainment adjustments, right now we're looking at a compass with a turn-by-turn -turn if the navigation was hooked up. We have our music information, speed limit, traffic sign recognition. We can go up, see our lane keep assist. Up, we can see our blind spot, forward collision alert, and side blind zone at all times. One more time, you can click, check out our overall settings. You can adjust the VDC, driver assistance, personal display, heads up display, eco mode, TPMS, clock, vehicle maintenance, customized display unit, and the key length settings. You can factory reset to go right back to the original settings. We can go back though, see what else is available. Blank screen and a compass, music, and our lane keep assist information. One more time, we can go over fuel economy, average fuel economy, and drive computer with a manual reset, boost gauge, power to eco mode, 4x4 information and tire pressure information you can only see while you're driving. But my personal favorite would just be looking at the variable compression turbo boost gauge at all times, so we'll leave it here. We get a pretty funky looking tack on the left side, goes to about 6,000 RPM. On the right side, we get a digital speedometer with also a pretty funky looking digital dial, KPH down below on the bottom. Fuel level down below too, 488 miles on a full tank, 10 miles on this car, cool temperature in the bottom left corner. Auto headlamps, pretty appreciated feature, very high quality feel for the turn signal stock. No rain sensing wipers, but the intermittent stock is right over here. To the left of the steering wheel, we have our steering assist and forward collision information, tailgate release and interior brightness. Aluminum trim surrounding the piano black for your air vent control with some gushy soft leather trim surrounding that. Till and telescoping steering wheel. Beneath, we have our hood latch release. You can get a good look at your pedals down below as well. Dashboard is all soft touch. We have a heads up display right in the center too. That's available for the premium package for the Nissan Rogue Platinum. The entire dashboard, as we mentioned, soft touch, some leather stitch trim in front of it. For some reason, the navigation system is setting up. It was working earlier, but there's absolutely nothing that I can do to get this thing to speed up. I've been trying for like the last five minutes. That's why we cut just now. But the screen itself, we have our audio. Of course, you can see the music, Bluetooth audio settings, AM, FM, phone. Check out the overall main menu, everything in the center, cool. Temperature outside, sports scores, traffic, fuel prices, stocks, uh, clock, customize, and Alexa all available. We can check out our cameras too. This is our forward facing camera and 360. Very high resolution screen, guidance lines, and trajectory for both the 360 and the forward collision or forward facing camera. Press one more time, we get a side blind zone camera so you don't have to worry about scuffing up your wheels in a drive through or parking lot. Press one more time and we get a rear view camera. You press that camera button one more time and it returns us to our home screen. Maybe the map works, works now, it does not. Hopefully it works at some point in this review, I'll have to show it to you guys. But other than that, you can take my word for it. It has a pretty high resolution, good response. I did get a chance to play with it earlier. Down below, air vents, piano black surrounding it, heated seats, no ventilated seats. It would be nice to see ventilated seats on a top trim Rogue that starts over 40, well, that doesn't start, but finishes off over $40,000. We get dual zone automatic climate control too, vent controls in the center, engine start stop, USB-C, USB-A port, and a 12 volt. Good spot for a radar detector. Wireless charging pad too, appreciated feature. Gushy soft leather stitch trim for your knee will often hit. Additional storage down below. You can probably fit a grocery bag or two in there. Very solid amount of space. Hopefully you guys can pick it up. The gear selector controls the eight speed line driven CVT. Backup camera, you can check it out. We already checked it out, but again, we can see a backup camera with our 360 and you put this thing into drive after you back up a little bit and it returns right back to the home screen. If you want to use the manual shift modes, you can always just access the paddles at all times, but if you double click drive twice, now you see a one. And it says auto on the bottom still too, so if you don't shift, it will shift for you. But you can adjust between one, well actually you can. You have to start in first gear for some reason, you can't even start in second gear. We could put this thing right back in the park, zoom back out on my screen. Electron parking brake with auto hold, more of this faux plasticky wood trim. It looks high quality, it's not as bad as piano black, you don't really see many fingerprints on it so premium touch in my opinion we have these pushy things for the cup holders you probably throw in some 16 ounce cups with a pass through good spot for a phone i'm currently using it for the keys terrain management selector we are currently in snow mode we can also throw it into auto eco sport and off-road we'll start the review off in auto transition in the sport you see what the overall differences are the armrest pretty soft not the softest not quite as soft as the armada or even the ultima we reviewed on this channel but it's pretty soft definitely not a complaint we have some white contrast stitching we can open it up it opens in two different directions very deep you could probably throw in a two liter bottle of soda in there a ton of car accessories right next to it shutting this thing right up the glove box we can open it up by pulling this latch we had some genuine wood trim above that 
pretty large storage too. I'd expect you to fit 15, 20, maybe like 22 license plates in there. Definitely a solid amount of space. Above that, again, leather stitch trim with some genuine wood and some aluminum surrounding it. Auto dimming rear view mirror, it's not frameless, has a pretty thick frame, thick, thick frame around it. Sorry guys, but it's still nice to have the auto dimming rear view mirror. We have a sunglass holder back here too. Interior lights are LED. Panoramic moonroof, we can open up the shade by double clicking and the shade opens up pretty quickly. Obviously not, not the sunniest day today in Tampa, Florida. We got a hurricane, tropical storm coming in a few hours. So we're trying to hurry this up as quickly as possible. Get as many reviews out of the way before everything closes up. The panel goes down underneath the first panel of glass. So it's not sticking out like a th sore thumb. See if it opens up any further. It does. So it opens up flushly with the second panel all the way out to the end of the front row. We can poke our way out of here. Pretty nice day today in Tampa, Florida. It's about 70 degrees, 72 degrees, but super, super windy. Hopefully my microphone was doing its job with uh, wind reduction, but that's about it for the front seat, guys. Hopefully you're impressed with this 2023 Nissan Rogue. I mentioned the speakers were not labeled and I apologize for not noticing that the front eight pillar speakers are labeled Bose. So we get a Bose sound system and it sounds fantastic in this 2023 Rogue. But other than that, we leave the shade open so when we hop out back, you can see how much light is brought into the cabin. That's about it for the front seat. Let's hop out back, see how much space is offered back there as well as the overall quality of the materials. If I didn't show you guys, we do get dual pane windows on the front seats for the 2023 Rogue. The wind is really starting to pick up. Check out those trees. They are moving pretty quickly. But anyway, up top, we have hard plastic, which I would expect some soft touch materials for a vehicle in this price point. We do get a sunshade though, which is nice. Leather stitch trim, super soft leather too. Gushy soft for the armrest. We don't get an auto one touch for the window, but not a big deal. Still power window, aluminum door handle, aluminum surrounding it. Beneath that, hard plastic with a massive cup holder. You're fitting a big open there with no problem. Additional one of your Bose speakers. The rear seats are still quilted leather. These are beautiful, beautiful seats, perforated and heated, coming with a premium package. Pretty well bolstered too. The bolstering goes out just about to the end of the door frame. So very couch-like legroom. I'm a little bit over six feet tall, sitting behind my seat settings. And I still have a ton of space, basically just as spacious as the new Altima. We have map pockets behind both of the front seats. Headroom, I have a ton, at least two, three inches before my head would start to touch. If you're under six foot six, six foot seven, you'll have no problem sitting back here. And for a compact SUV, that really does say a lot. We have a full third zone climate with heated second row seats, USB-C and USB-A port. The center cubby, you gotta jab your hand into it. But once you do, pretty soft leather. We got two cup holders, you'll throw 16 ounce bottles in there with no problem. If I didn't mention a fuel economy, we get 31 MPGs, 28 city, 34 on the highway. So all wheel drive SUV that can do zero to 60 around seven seconds and get over 30 MPGs. What more could you possibly ask for? That's about it for the back seat. Let's check out the cargo space real quick and then take this 2023 Rogue Platinum out for a drive. So underneath this little button down here, we have the button which opens up our electrically assisted tailgate and as with all the rogues massive cargo space very low opening i'm again a little over six feet tall my knees at about the same level as a step and so if you got older or smaller pets they shouldn't have any issues hopping back here we, we get the 200 dollars little tunnel cover here so nobody has to see what's going on in the back seat of your rogue we'll put this thing away in the meantime we get some secret storage too give you an additional about foot maybe two cubic feet of space more secret storage for a spare tire it's not a full-size spare but it's a pretty large donut Nice, no complaints. You can fold the rear seats down 60-40 split. Not expect you to fit up to a 65-70 inch TV back here with no problem. We also get some cutouts for grocery bags so those aren't flying around nearly as bad. The latches to fold the seats down are right back over here. That's about it though for the back seat. We can shut this tailgate up by pressing this button right up top. It doesn't give you a second so be ready to press that button and move out of the way or you're going to get doofed in the head. But that's about it. For the inside and outside of the all-new 2023 Nissan Rogue Top of the Line Platinum. It is a beautiful SUV. I know 40,000 bucks may seem a lot for a Nissan Rogue, but this thing really has all the options and features you could possibly want or need. As far as performance, let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. All right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all-new 2023 Nissan Rogue Top of the Line platinum let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got and the first thing i noticed the steering feels nice and on center super quiet interior too the dual pane windows help but the s that we reviewed in this channel didn't have the dual pane windows and it was still very quiet the brakes feel nice and grabby 
steering feels on center not the best weight but it feels on center we'll try an acceleration out off the line we'll do a slight little brake torque and let's go Ooh. yeah the torque was definitely there off the line it kind of falls on its face a little bit after like 4500 but uh, up to 4500 that's your daily driving power and that torque is definitely there on this rough pavement very quiet the ride quality is good you feel the bumps a little but not a lot comparable ride quality to the ultimas that we reviewed in this channel i'm liking the steering though we're not in the sport mode we're just in auto but the steering feels on center throw it into sport there we go first thing i noticed the revs immediately increase the steering feels a tad bit heavier still on center which is good we'll test out this body roll and turning rate yeah the steering you can feel a little bit more weight through it the body roll is limited you see a little bit but it's a lot less body roll compared to an outlander turning radius is sharp and about third throttle oh way more sensitive in um sport mode the power gauge actually went almost all the way up to the top we'll try and acceleration out off the line in sport mode come to a complete stop after we pass this truck all right cool so complete stop light brake torque and let's go Woo. Woo nice little rocket ship that's zero to 30 i'm telling you this thing zero to 30 is keeping up with a lot a lot of cars after 30 yes you may not be keeping up with the most cars but at zero to 30 this thing can take off and we're still in sport mode hovering around 2000 rpm so it's not going to kill your gas mileage throwing it in a little bit quicker than we should yeah, the steering feels good half throttle Ooh. not bad we'll try out these paddle shifters Rev match downshift, pull. Nice. All right, guys, starting it off in first gear, we'll see the quickness of these shifts. First gear on the gas. Pretty quick. Not bad. As soon as this transit van passes, we'll try out a real world turning radius. Okay, come on, man. He's going like 25 miles an hour. But okay, turning radius, sharp, first gear, gas pedal. Whoop. <laughs> the induction note is not bad in this thing, I'm telling you. It's just a three cylinder, but it's got a nice, a nice little high pitch note to it. All right, throwing it in way quicker than we should. Ooh, it grips the turn well. Yeah. Nice. That's why you go with the all-wheel drive. This thing is just so grippy. You put all that power down without even having to worry about it. Overall, this is an impressive SUV. I've been a big fan of this new Rogue ever since the updated powertrain came out. I wasn't the biggest fan of the 2.5. If I was going to go with the 2.5, personally, I'd probably stay in line with the Outlander from Mitsubishi because you can get a little bit better deals on the Outlander and the Outlander actually has a third row. But if I wanted more power, if I didn't want to do zero to 60 in eight and a half seconds, I would rather do zero to 60 around seven. The Rogue with a turbocharger is a game changer. You're, you're doing 60 quicker than a CRV, you're doing 60 quicker than a RAV4, and you're doing zero to 60 quicker than a base CX-5. So if you're in the market for a compact SUV, you want a little bit more performance, you want a little bit more luxury, you want all the tech, an impressive sound system, amazing seats, super comfortable seats. Overall, it's just a great car. For around $40,000, yes, we are getting a little bit up there in price, but you are getting your money's worth. The power is there, the luxury is there, the features tech is there. I would definitely recommend the 2023 Rogue. And if you want the options, features, and luxury, go with the Platinum trim level. And a big thanks to Red at Courtesy Nissan in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below. And if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Red. And a huge thanks to all of you for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. 
You guys know the channel is just not possible without you guys, and I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, leave a like too. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely get all those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.